Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness. What a great pleasure it is to be with you from my newly, almost so close to being finished home after the flood here in Houston. I would be outside right now, but it is but cold. So I'm inside. And uh, welcome to the holiday edition of the Tour of Consciousness. And for those of you that were on the Holiday Survival Telecall, thank you so much. Uh, and wow, what an amazing gift. And once again, it was my gift to you if you had taken bars. So just so you know. Um, and while we're at it, I kind of wonder how people survive the holiday season without bars. I don't know, but I got to tell you, I've had mine run several times in the last few weeks, and it has been extremely helpful. So what is the tool for today? Well, there are so many. There's so many things I want to talk to you about that I'm not even sure where to begin uh, I feel like my life has gone through a major transformation in the last few weeks, as it often does. And uh, so I'm sitting here going, wow. One of the things I have a far greater appreciation for is the access consciousness tools that you get right when you come to access. And a lot of times people go, oh, well, they're the basic tools. You know, I got that in my first class or I got that in an intro or I got that from a telecall or something. But I'm telling you, these basics, they're not basic. And the reason I'm saying that is because I've been doing this 17 years, and some of those really basic things aren't basic at all. In fact, they actually are more effective now for me than they were when I learned them 17 years ago. So one, let's do this one. How about that? Um, one of the tools of access consciousness is looking at if I had 10 seconds to live the rest of my life, what would I choose? Okay, got a choice? That lifetime's over. You have 10 seconds to live the rest of your life. What do you choose? Okay, that lifetime's over. You have 10 seconds to live the rest of your life. What do you choose? Most people have about three choices lined up and then they're done because we're not used to choosing and we're certainly not used to choosing in 10 second increments. Let me give you a different use for this tool though. Um, ooh, look at the tulips. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness. Anyway, and they kind of, you know, sort of maybe look like two lips put together. They should be called four lips. They look more like, or maybe three lips, like three lips and four lips. Yeah, you want some three lips? Anyway, I digress. Um, and probably, you know, when it got translated from Dutch to American, English, whatever that language is I speak, I don't remember anymore. I was in Australia so long, I, I think I speak English, mate. That was a really bad accent. Okay, for those of you in like other English speaking countries, I really apologize for having butchered your entire language just there. Um, anyway, what is the tool? 10 second increments. See, I'm doing it right now. Like, if you have ADHD, this one can really help also. Um, so let me give you a slightly different perspective on it. So right now, just look at what would happen if you had absolutely no past and your future was only going to extend 10 seconds. So if I say you have 10 seconds to choose the rest of your life and own, every choice is only good for 10 seconds, what it does, it gives you the freedom to not have to choose the same thing over and over again. You know, and then people of course go to, yeah, but you're gonna be wishy-washy and all that stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. When you make a commitment to do something, do the thing you committed to, um, unless there's a way of changing it that works for you and everybody else. But with this 10 second thing, one of the ways I learned to use it was, see, a lot of us, what I'm noticing and have noticed for a very long time actually, is that we spend a lot of our lives not really present. We're not really there in the moment. This is a tool that if you use it can get you to presence. So if you had absolutely no past that you had to cogitate on and think about, and you had only the future into the next 10 seconds, what could you choose that you're not currently choosing? Sorry, my hand is starting to shake. I can't find my selfie stick. Ooh, bad video maker, Dane. Um, what could you choose that you're not currently allowing yourself to choose? So for example, if you've been stressed out this holiday season, one of the things you want to do is, is know who does this belong to? We have an app for that. Um, and there's all kinds of videos on YouTube. Uh, I've got an entire playlist devoted to who does this belong to. So I'm not going to go into that one again, but if you've been sort of up and down and all around this holiday season, one of the things that can really help is use this 10 second increment tool and go, okay, so for the next 10 seconds, if, if I didn't have to think about anything else, 
and the future didn't extend beyond that. For the next 10 seconds, could I choose to be present and happy? Huh. So, for you right now, just take a moment, breathe, since you probably haven't been. <gasps> okay, good job. Now, feel your feet on the floor. Now, could you, for the next 10 seconds, choose to be present and happy? And what if you pulled the energy of presence in whatever that is for you and asked of yourself to get even more present and more happy for just the next 10 seconds? Cool. Now, how about the next 10? And what I've noticed is if you do this for just 10 seconds, it takes you out of all of that insane monkey mind and all of those things that tell you that you've got to be stressed out and you're not doing enough and you're not being enough. All those reasons and justifications basically that we have for going off in our heads and, and never letting it end, you know, head tripping our lives into existence as the problems that we've allowed them to become. 10 seconds, my friends. For the next 10 seconds, could you choose to be present and happy? And then for the next 10. And then maybe just 10 more, and then go live your life. Because what's interesting is once you choose to actually get present and you choose to actually get happy, whatever that is for you, what it does is it sort of like resets your circuits in some way that allows you to actually have that as something that you can now choose. So happy, happy, extremely happy holidays to you. I hope this one has been a contribution to you. But given that it's the holiday season, and one of my favorite things is to gift people, especially possibilities and the tools they need to change things, I'll be having another video coming up for you shortly on a subject that may just rock your world and change everything. For that one, you're definitely wanna gonna have, gonna wanna, wanna gonna? Yeah, you're gonna, gonna wanna wanna, gonna, gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna gonna. Yeah, that's what you're gonna wanna do in the next 10 seconds. You're gonna wanna gonna wanna. Yeah, just, Tell them you heard it from me. I'm a doctor, I can say that shit. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Um, a subject you're gonna wanna, which, you know, I'm in the South, I can say shit like that, right? You are probably going to want to pay attention to, because I think it'll help change a lot of stuff for you. So, thank you for being part of the Torah Consciousness. Thank you for being the gift that you are in this world. Stay tuned for part two. 